Hi and smiles everyone and welcome. So today I'm working on some cards because I have a birthday coming up um, and I Mother's Day is fast approaching. So I thought I'd make a couple of cards this morning and uh, I want to use this background for my Mother's Day card and I decided I wanted to use some of these jars and fairies and mushrooms and and uh, then I wanted that this fairies and mushroom one I want to use I'm making it a birthday card for a man and I thought that the mushrooms would be really kind of cute and something different and then for Mother's Day, I want to use uh, this jar for sure, is what I want to use on this card. And then it came out of this pack. And then my mom, she really likes the color purp uh, purple. So I want to use some flowers and a fairy maybe out of this pack. And that's what's so awesome about having a few packs of these is I can interchange them, right? So I'm going to, and I have embossed these backgrounds. Excuse me, I'm just going to take a cup, uh, drink a coffee. And uh, anyways, I think I'm going to use this background. I had pulled out, these were just some... Um, ones I had already embossed and I do like this one too so I might use this one but I really like this one too for because uh, it's happy birthday happy birthday all over it so um, I want to uh, do some ink coloring on these so f let's work on the Mother's Day one first is what I figure will do so I had picked out, I think that like a, a pink colored background would be really nice with these flowers. So that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this Victorian velvet, I think, is what I'll use for uh, this card. So first I want to trim this up because I know that it is a little bit long for sure. And I'm going to make them, uh, I think these are, I had these made ahead of time. And I think they're five and a half. Yeah, five and a half by uh, four and a quarter. So I want to make it probably five and a quarter. So we have some background by four. So let's try that. So we're going to go five and a quarter. Let's just check it. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I'll use white when I do have a black one too. So I'm not sure which one I'll use just yet. Okay, so then I want to take a quarter off of this. So I think I'll take one eighth off each side so I can keep as much of the hearts as uh, I can. All right. Oh, wait a minute. What did I do there? Oh. Hmm. I thought this was four and a quarter. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, it was only four. Okay, that should be enough off the side then. It's just, I'm just checking here. Yeah, that's about what I want. I mismeasured that. But that's okay, it worked out. So I need to, uh, maybe I'll do, I'll uh, have these piece of paper to ink on and first I'm just wondering if I want to put 
this all over or if I want to just try and do the hearts. Well, let's just see because I can uh, certainly do the all over. So I, I just have this little brush that I think will work well to, uh, to uh, ink the hearts with. And it's just sort of a precision, precision brush that I can control it a little bit. And I'm just going to see if I even like it with just the hearts done or if I'm going to rather have it go all over. Yeah, I'm actually thinking I might want it all over. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we'll forget that idea for this. And I'll just put this away. And I got this brush, I think, off of AliExpress. They came with like several brushes was in the pack but I'm thinking I'm gonna like maybe all over look more so so we're just gonna do that instead well I guess I could have used my brush but I'm gonna just uh, like this brush here I do like how it blends but I'm going to just do the sides with this because I want them to be a little on the darker side. So I'm going to just do the edges with this blender and then I'll fill it in with the uh, brush. So I hope everyone's having a lovely day. Beautiful day here today. And uh, I think this afternoon I got to get outside and get into my flower beds and get those all cleaned up. It's finally safe enough to do that. And uh, the snow's all gone, and so I want to get it cleaned up and figure out what I want to do if I want to add anything into my. I have a lot of perennials because. I and my husband were avid motorcyclists. I sold my motorcycle last year. It was hard, but I did. I had a bit of a shoulder injury, so it was time. And not on the motorcycle or anything. But I had a big bike, so I was finding it a bit of a struggle. Um with the weight of the bike. Hmm. I don't think I'm liking how this is going on. I think I might want to use the deeper color with the uh, other blending tool. Like this is all right, but I think I'll get more of a, a spread with the other. Yeah. Yeah, it's not quite what I'm looking for. So I'm going to use this instead. And then I just start off Whip, and bring it on to the page so that it blends better. I don't get a big blob of ink somewhere and then it's very difficult to uh, blend it in. Yeah, this is better. Anyways, um, when I, they thought it was my shoulder when I had hurt, got hurt. But in the end, it ended up being my my neck, and it was a it took a long, long time to heal. It was very painful, actually. But uh, well, it's never going to be fully healed. I once I've wrecked it, I've <laughs> it's wrecked. So um, you know, I can strain it, I can hurt it again. And with my motorcycle, it was, uh, like I said, it was a bigger bike because we did a lot of traveling on our motorcycles. Um, we live in Canada, and we done a lot, a lot of traveling into America on our bikes. 
which was always wonderful. We live in Alberta, and so we went down to Montana and such a lot. Lovely, lovely country. And, excuse me, <coughs> we really enjoyed it because there was a lot of scenery in that area too, right? So anyway, I finally had to face the fact that I was not going to be able to travel like I once did on my motorcycle. So now we're going to have to travel by car or truck or I've been really thinking about it would be wonderful to move closer to water and maybe get a boat, but uh, I don't know if that's going to be possible or not. We'll see. But anyway, I'm not even sure why I went there, but yeah. So, um... Oh, I know why, because of, I was talking about my flower beds. So, I had, uh, when we started to motorcycle more, I decided to go more with perennial plants because we weren't home all the time to take care of the other plants as well. So, because they need to be watered a lot more, right, than a perennial. And uh, so that's when I started. It took me a few years. It took me probably three or four years to um, convert it to mostly perennials. And, uh, but I still put out a few annuals. And now that we're not traveling quite as much as we did, and then, of course, COVID hit too, right, which didn't help. But... Um, we're not traveling as much. It makes me yearn to, I think maybe I'll put a few more pots and things out and have more annuals because they just flower so beautifully, don't they? Okay, I think I'm liking that. That looks good. I'm just going to check against here. Yeah, it looks good on the white too. Yeah, I'm liking that. So... What I want to do is I want to put this on because I think it'll be so cool. And I don't, I'm thinking, I don't know. Let's open this, get some of these out and decide what we'd like to do. Okay. So, we want to make sure we have purple. Those ones are so pretty. We could put that right in the, whoop, the, <laughs> no, I'm wondering, what I think I want to do is put uh, one of the fairies right inside where the heart is. This one's really pretty. She's a little, might be a little too big for that. Let's see what other fairies we've got. So we've got that one or this one. And I think that was all the different fairies in this particular one. Yeah. Oh, but I see. Oh no, those flowers are the same. Okay. Maybe we could put the fairy and then we could put except she is a little bit big. We could put flowers coming out the top. See, I just really like her, but this one's cute. They're all cute, but uh, yeah, that one fits better, but I don't know. Oh, look at that one, but it's too big too, I think. It's as big as the other girl was. Yeah, 
Uh, but she fits a little bit better in it, I think. Okay, and then there's this one. So let's see what this one is like. Well, hmm, I'm thinking this one is fitting the best in this jar. So, let's put this, let's just work with this image in there. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll have the flowers come out the top. Is what I'll do. So we could have... one of these coming out the top like that. <laughs> hmm. You know what I think the problem is, is I, I might not use this jar because I'm going to have to come way too far down. Yeah, I need a wider jar. Unfortunately, I'll just uh, put this one away. And let's see what other jar we have here. It could work nice. That's a wider one. Oh, this square one might be kind of cool. Let's see. Let's see about this square one. Yeah, I'm liking that one. So, now let's try a fairy inside. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and we need to... Um, let's see what we're going to do for flowers. Let's see, let's see. So if we put a flower there, okay, let's take our fairy out for a minute and get some flowers in here. So if we do this flower, do we have a pink one and the pink one like that? And uh, hmm. let's try... Oh, here's another purple. I kind of like that one. It's kind of nice. And then maybe a blue one. Might look good in there too. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Like that. Okay, I'm liking that. And then if we have our fairy come off here, is she blocking off the flower too much? Hmm. Let's bring this down a little bit. Bring you over a little bit. Like that. And then we could have our fairy coming in right here. fit in there. Oh yeah, it will. No, there's something not quite what I want. So if we take that out, bring that one up here, bring this one, whoop, this one down here like that. Maybe bring her here. Oh, turn our flower to so you can see it a little bit better. Bring her in here. Yeah, I kind of like that better. Yeah, I'm liking that better. Okay. So let's. 
Now, normally what would be great to do right now would be to take, but I'm using my oh, my camera. Um, when you're doing something like this, um, taking a picture of how you set it up is a great way. And then you know when you go to take all the backing off, you know exactly where you want to place it, right? Um, but I'm just going to remember because I do not have that available to me right now. So I need to put this one on first. And now we got to hope that it doesn't take forever to get these apart, which sometimes I love these these type of stickers but sometimes it's it's very difficult oh look at look at look at it's very difficult to uh, get the backing off so right about here we'll go with that one and then we want this one to come about here I believe Um, I'm rethinking really a little bit if I want the pink because we got the pink background or if I'd rather have this blue. So let's see which would look best with our little fairy. Hmm, I'm thinking the pink is probably the better choice. Well, that looks good too. It's so hard to choose sometimes, I have to say. And I don't have any other real choices here. So I think I'll go with the blue because we have the pink background. Okay, so let's hope this one comes off as nice and as quickly as the other one did. Well, it doesn't look like that's going to happen this time. Oh, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. So great when that works. Okay, and then we got to put this one on. So this is a, um, you know, a simpler card, but... Um, also Vera, it's going to be very nice and I really wanted to use some of these jars that came off really well so let's just make sure we get this placement kind of where we want it and I think we want to kind of go like that there we go and then Let's hope we can get the fairy off as quickly as we did those ones. Yeah, you can talk nice to them or sometimes not so nice. There we go. That came off really well. Okay, so we want her. How about there? Oh yeah, I know my mom will like this. And then we'll just put the jar Right, like that. You know what? I don't know if I want that jaw. No, I already like this jar better. Fits it better. Or, this one I think is too narrow. Yep. I'm just going to quickly look at what other jar options I have here. Oh, nope, that ain't gonna work. That one's too short. And that one covers the wrong way. So I think it's got to be this one. It's the one. Okay, we're gonna use this one. All right. So now, let's hope the jar comes off as, 
nicely as the uh, oh, as the flowers and fairy did. Come on. Oh, it's so close. Oh, oh, I thought I had it. Okay, sometimes I wish I had a bit longer. Nails would work better. Okay. Right about. Right about there. Oh, that's a little bit crooked. Oh, I think I'm in trouble with replacing this. Look at that. Huh. I could have done it that way. Interesting. So you could put your placement on your jar before you put the whole thing on. Would be a cool way to do it too. I'm just trying to Make sure I'm nice and straight here with my jar. I think that's good. Yeah, that's going to work. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like it. And so do we want to put it on the white? Oh, I'm going to just press that down really good. Because it's embossed, I need to press that very securely on or do we want it on the black oh I think it pops more on the black so black it is okay so I'm just going to put some wet glue on the back of this because it's a it's a cardstock so I can use that and not worry about uh, getting it uh, wrinkled or anything and with uh, I don't like to use tape usually because I have a lot more wiggle room with glue right if I don't get it straight right off I can wig you know you have a bit of time with your placement okay All right, let's get that on the background. Make sure I got it opening the right way. I do. And we'll get that placed on there. Bring it up a little. There we go. Oh yeah, she'll really like that. Um, the sun is really shining today. Hopefully you can see that well and it sparkles. Yeah, she'll love that. So I'll just, uh, I don't want to put Happy Mother's Day on the front or any words, I don't think, because I just, the image is what it, it's perfect for the front and it doesn't need the word. I will put it on the inside and write her a special message. But I just like it. Simple, yet very nice. Yeah, I think she'll really like that. Okay, so let's move on to this one. And uh, yeah, what I was thinking with this one, I. I was thinking I want to use this jar, hopefully, uh, and I think I want to use this for a background, Tattered Rose, because 
of the orange of the I think it'll go good with the mushrooms is what I was thinking so I and I'm really liking this fairy right because he is male for one thing and this is for a male so and then I thought this was kind of a nice thing nice like that but ah uh, first we will get the ink on this and then we'll go from there isn't that a cute fairy too she's so cute but not for this card oh we should uh, get this measured out so we want it oh we got to cut off each side of this because uh, it was a little too long when I put it through the embossing folder. So we'll go to five and a quarter at this end. And then we'll see about, yeah, this one's at four already. Let's just uh, do. See if that's what we wanted. Yeah, I think that's great. Okay, so let's get some ink on this one, and I think I want it the same as this one, in that I liked the deepness of the color. So I'm going to use this again, and let's try it with the tattered rose. And oh, there's the jar. And I'll just do it on this piece of paper again. Get this inked up. So I'm going to be using these jars and such in my journals too, but they work wonderfully for cards too, is what I have discovered. Or at least I really like them, and I think they look good. And they have a real, uh, they're really pretty, and they're homemade, right? Which I know these people will really appreciate that uh, it is homemade. Oh, yeah, I'm liking this color. This will be really good with that, those orange mushrooms, I think. And, uh, yeah. And I like this embossing folder that says birthday, happy birthday all over it. Okay, and we'll just work our way in. I think I need to. I don't think I'll saturate this one quite as much as the other one, but we'll see. So that there is a bit of white as I come in on this towards the center. It can be darker on the outside here than it is in the middle. So I'm just tapping that off on there. On the paper before I bring it to this. Just to take the chance away that I'll get a big blob of ink so I'm thinking I like it. This might be enough color. I can always add more. I can't take it away, but I can always add more, right? So we'll see what we think. Okay, 
I want to use this jar. Yeah, I like that jar. And then we'll have some, oh yeah, doesn't that pop? It pops. And then I want to use this fairy for sure. Oh, he looks kind of cute standing on that, or sitting on that. Doesn't he? Okay, so we were going to try this one in behind. Let's see. Hmm. With him sitting on that, I don't know. There is a larger one here. Let's check this larger one out. Oh, no, it's not as... It is not as tall as the other one. It's the only thing. So I don't know. Yeah, that one I don't think is going to work. No. So, whoop. Whether I should put this one in here. Just thinking for a minute. Because he could have that sort of up like that but then I don't see there that would work well I like it but let's try it just with this one thinking yeah I'm thinking I like that just with those two yeah let's go that way oh I should cover that all right so we need to get the backing off of this That was easy. And we'll put that. Let's get our placement again. We want it kind of right there in the middle. And then we're going to want this little fairy boy to sit right there. Oh, I should have maybe brought it down a little bit. I wonder if I can move this. Bring it down just a little. Yep, I can. Because I didn't. I just gently put it on there. So let's see about here. And I didn't push it down yet. And him there. And like that. Okay, so I like where it is except it needs to move over just a tad this way I think yep okay now I'll press it down Get contact with that all again because of the embossing folder I need to press that really firmly down and then we'll put this uh, little fairy boy on here if I can figure out get him apart come on hmm need to bring it closer to me there we go okay and he can just sit like that on top of the mushroom well, that's so cute to get the jar on. So I'll just get this apart. I hope. Come on. 
I might be out of screen, but it's because I need to get this close to my eyes as possible. Come on, be nice. There we go. Got it. Okay. And then let's put him just like that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to use my little scraper here and get that well secured down. There we go. And then I'm thinking like that one, I may need to get a black. I think it'll look better than on the white. Yeah, I think it just makes it pop, right? And that's what I want. Okay, I'm just gonna grab, I have some over here. I'm just gonna grab a black one. And this one, perhaps this one, we will make a flip up one. So it flips up. Okay, yeah. It just makes that all pop with the black. That's for sure. Okay, so all we need to do is put on some wet glue. So again, we have that wiggle room, right? If we need it. And this having happy birthday in the background all over it, I don't think I need to add a happy birthday label or anything to it. I was going to, but there's no need to. And, it, and that way, the focal point will be the jar with the mushroom in the fairy. Just like this one. I'm really liking that. And like I said, these people I think will appreciate it. Okay. So there we go. Ah, cute, 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 cute. So there is the happy birthday one. And just like this one, I will uh, cut out a square and put it inside to write on and put a personal message in there. So, uh, yeah, the sun is quite bright today. I Hopefully I didn't have too much of a shadow. I'm looking at it and thinking I might have had a lot of shadow today. I hope not. Darn it. Anyway, so those are my two cards, and I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, just another thought on what you can do with these different stickers. It, uh, they're great for the journals, but they also would be great on some cards that you may need to, to have. And, you, you know, we have all these supplies, so there's no need to go out and buy a birthday card necessarily and it makes it more personable so anyway you guys all have a wonderful day and I uh, don't forget to like and subscribe press that notification bell and I do apologize for the shadows that I am now seeing are in this video and you all have a crafty crafty day bye for now